Are you nervous to podcast? Me too. (laughs) Yet here I am. (laughs) So if you're nervous, that means you want to do it. So let's talk about how to overcome those nerves and get into action. Hello, I'm Olivia D'Souza. I'm a multi-passionate entrepreneur. I'm a content and podcast expert. I support visionary entrepreneurs and leaders passionate about living with purpose. Join me as we explore podcasting, life, business, and authenticity. Subscribe for meaningful conversations with a business buddy who gets what it's like. Welcome to Magnetic Pod. I'm stepping in the next little me. If you want to podcast or create a podcast or or if you've got this thing that's been going around in the back of your mind for days, months, weeks, you know, years, whatever, whatever it might may be, whether it's content creation of some sort or just some personal challenge and it's nervousness and fear holding you back, that means that you really want to do it. So that in itself is the sign and all the sign you need that you should do it. Doing something that you are nervous about doing is a good feeling and it's a better feeling than being paralyzed and wallowing in the nervousness itself and the regret of not doing it. It is a better feeling to have those nerves and even if things go wrong, it feels better than being paralyzed with fear and not doing it. And and I think it's important to remember, and it's an oldie but it's a goodie, that the word fear is false evidence appearing real. The fear is your ego, and your ego is a liar. Your ego is your negative self-talk that talks about, I guess it's trying to keep you safe and some, some, you know, from tigers or something, but it's not really useful if if it's stopping you from reaching your goals in things that are not going to kill you. And uh, if the thing that stops you is worrying about making a fool of yourself, what people think, most of that is going on in your head. All the things that people might be thinking is a story running in your brain way more than actually is happening. Everyone is more thinking about themselves than thinking about you. And even if, because if you do get go out there on a, a big scale, then yeah, there there could be some people who have something negative to think or say. And so, if there is worst case scenario, someone who has some negative opinion of you, is that a reason to not do it? Is that a reason to not live fully? Is that a reason to hold yourself back? Is that a reason to not follow your dreams? Is that person? helping you? Is that person paying your bills? Is that person paying your mortgage? Yeah, so so I think we, we need to not be held back. And I'm here. I'm creating this podcast and I create content and I talk about stuff and I have no guarantee of who's going to like it and who isn't, who, who, thinks that, <laughs> who thinks that I've got something valuable to say and who's going to think I'm full of shit you know like you cannot control that but if you are just honest and authentic and are going after the things you want in a sincere way because you really want to help people then get out of your own way and do it you're not here for everyone you are here for the people that you are here for and you don't need to try and please everyone and most people are only concerned about themselves anyway and if you get haters I talk about Gary Vee a lot, don't I? I'm realizing. <laughs> I'm thinking of Gary Vee again. And he he has empathy for people who, who hate on him. He thinks that uh that you don't do that if you're happy with your own life. You don't do that if you're secure. You don't do that if you feel like you're kicking all the goals in your life. You don't try to bring other people down. So I think that's a pretty good lesson we can try to to learn from that. Let's Let's have empathy for the people who who hate on us and also remember who you're here to help and you're not helping anyone if you're stuck in paralyzed nervousness. Sometimes we can do that and, and we we think we, we're nice people and and we are, but you're, if you're not helping people because you're indulging in a way in this, you're letting this fear take over, 
you know, if it's a thing that you want to do, then don't don't let that stop you from helping people. If you've got a message that or a service that is intended to genuinely help people, then let them know you exist. You're, you're the person that can help someone out there. It's you. They need to hear it from you in your message, in your style. And it's not, you're not being nice or doing anyone any favors by by not getting out there. You're helping yourself, your family, your everyone by creating your business and your content and, and everything, but you're also helping the people that your content is for. So I think sometimes we just have to remind ourselves of that. And uh, another thing, I'm listening to a, an audio book by Lola Berry about fail, failure, fa- something to do with failure. I can't think of the title, but, uh, and she talks about I re- I'm going to have to do another podcast episode around failure and some of the things that she says, but and I and I really admire some of the things that she kept going after, even though she kept getting rejected. But the chapter that I'm up to, she talks about death, and I guess it's a reminder that we're not going to be here forever, and if not now, when? The worst thing is to regret not living a full life and to be held back by an imaginous an imaginary story that you're telling yourself go live your life fearlessly and uh sometimes like i said i get nervous too and i will do i listen to my own song messenger so if that helps you go listen to it and that song messenger is a reminder that that you're here to with that you have a message that it matters and that it's to touch people. So I've got the song, if you want to listen to that, or I've got the visualization version, version where I talk you through the whole visualization and imagining the, the message going out there and reaching the people it's meant to meet and reach and, and believing in yourself and living fearlessly. And then it ends with that song. So you can either listen to that or listen to the song or do your own thing or find some EFT tapping thing on YouTube or from an actual practitioner or anything. But Get out of your own way and don't live with regret. So what do you think? Let me know. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you're on YouTube or send me an email or a DM or something on Instagram or wherever you find this. And let me know what you'd like me to talk about in the next one, about podcasting or life. Let me know. Reach out. I want to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, it's Libby here. Have you ever wondered about what the key elements are that make a podcast truly stand out? Or maybe you're thinking about starting your own special podcast and feel a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Well, I have something for you. Introducing the ultimate podcast checklist. Da, 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 da. It's a step by step guide that covers everything from the initial brainstorming to advanced growth strategies. It's the perfect companion for both new and seasoned podcasters. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Da, 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 da. <laughs> to grab your copy, simply head to the show notes of this episode and you will find a direct link there. And then away you go. Remember, every podcast started with that initial spark and the right resource. So let the ultimate podcasting checklist be yours.